Hey everybody, welcome back. So lately I've been covering a lot of affordable yet quality, decent digital night vision. Today's no different. We're taking a look at the Babski VB007 night vision binoculars. All right, everybody, welcome back. So I figured I'm going to unbox this for you and show you it. Um, of course, I have tested it out already, but I'll show you what comes in the box. First of all, we'll take a look at the back here. This will give you all of your information. If you want to pause it and take a look, get it out of the box here. All right, back to the side. And this is how it will come. Now, I want you to take a look at this case. That was the first thing I noticed, and I'm like, whoa, they actually put some money into this. This is a really nice case. It is brown. I don't know if that'll show up on the camera. It might look purple on the camera. You never know. Let me get the boxes out of the way here. It is brown. Um, I was kind of hoping for black, but who cares? It's a nice case, <laughs> you know? At first, I thought it was black when I first looked at it in the case. So let's take a look at what's inside. Now, I haven't used many of the accessories other than the cable to transfer video, so we'll, we'll go through those. Here's your unit to begin with, okay? First off the bat, I can tell you it feels really well made. Uh, it is a nice rubberized kind of feel to it. It looks big, but it's not super heavy. I wouldn't consider mounting this on a helmet just because of its size, but it actually feels really, really good. Let's take a look at the accessories. You have a cable here that I am going to open, and this cable here allows you to connect it to your television. Uh, it does have the one RCA jack and the one output on that side. Okay, you have your transfer cable. It does use the older style USB, if you can take a look at that. It's not the micro or the C, but you're not using this to charge. You're just using this to transfer files. So, all in all, pretty cool. You get a strap, which I will eventually put on there, cleaning cloth. You get your guarantee card here warranty and your manual and the manual is actually very helpful um, one of the things that they really greatly improved with a lot of manuals I've seen these days is they actually give you pictures to know what you're looking at you know so you know, it's not just text it helps when they say move this lever here and they show you a picture so it is very well well made now this is an interesting accessory this here is a strap and it mounts on the bottom like that now of course you're gonna pull this strap down through here but this strap I'll show you what I mean. You're going to mount it that way and you're going to pull this through. Um, it shouldn't be up this way because you can't mount it. Um, this strap is for an external power source. This is really cool. This does run on 8 AA batteries. However, if you don't want to run it on 8 AA batteries, you can take your power bank and power it with that. Again, on the side here, you have all your controls. So basically, you just plug your power bank from your power bank underneath. You know, you just strap it onto there with that with that strap, okay? And you would plug it in there. And that will power the unit externally for much longer than eight batteries, eight double A's. But that's how it works, okay? Um, I'm going to have to mess around a little bit with this and figure out how to open it up. But it's just Velcro, you know? So I don't want to waste your time on camera doing it. But that's what this is for. So you can run this off an external battery bank. Right now, I just have the batteries in there, the, the double A's. It works fairly well, no problems with it, with the double A's, so I figured we'll just start off with that, because that's what most people are going to do to begin with, anyway. So let's get into the features here. One of the first things you'll notice is the front. kind of has an odd look to it. This is so for, so for your daytime video. Now, I am going to show you video of both daylight and night vision with this, mostly night vision, but I got a quick clip of daylight later on in the video. And I did not keep this on there. I wanted to go full on, let it see what it looks like. But that's just to kind of cover it so you don't, you can't damage the lens. It's just, a, it's, a, it's, you know, it's not like a traditional um, night vision unit where you'll burn the lens out. But it is kind of handy if it's too bright out. That does do a good job covering it up. But yeah, you'll just push this over and snap it into place for your nighttime video. This is going to be your IR light, and that's your lens. This is really neat, though. Your lens here can be focused on this control on the bottom. So you just move that. Now when you're zoomed in, I'm going to warn you, some of the video that I shot to begin with was very shaky. 
because the slightest little motion, you know, even doing this, makes it look like an earthquake's going on. So you'll want to get your zoom set beforehand a little, and then observe. This over here controls your IR, and we'll show that in the video too at the end of the, at the, end of the demo. Um, this will zoom in, okay? So you can zoom and intensify that light, that IR light on one little spot. If you're going way, way out, say 600 yards, and this will be able to do that, by the way, you can zoom that in all the way down right onto that spot that you're looking at at 600 yards. So it actually will make the um, IR light zoom right in on something. And we'll show you, I'll, I'll demo that in the, in the video later on. Let's take a look at the top. Notice my greasy fingerprints on there. Shame on me. <laughs> um, you've got these little uh, ridges here that will kind of guide your hand. It was a little confusing at first for me. This is your power button because I was like, oh, I'm trying to push the ridges. The ridges will actually guide your hand in there. Now, the screen on this is incredibly huge. And it's not magnified. This is a bigger screen. I'm going to turn it on for you. And you see how big that screen is. Now, right now, it's just pointed at my table here. Um, your menu over here, this is for your menu. You can run through the modes. There we go. There's your menu. You can format your SD card. You can power save dates. Um, I haven't set the date yet, so the dates were all wrong on mine, but no big deal. You can set the time, the flicker, the TV standard. All through that. So all in all, it's a neat little unit. You can take pictures with this or HD video. I have it set right now, if you notice the corner there. It says 1.07. That's your zoom. I accidentally hit that. It will zoom all the way up to three. I'm walking you through it now. And then back to normal. This is a digital zoom. It is not an optical zoom. So you need to remember that. Although it does a really nice job of zooming in. And that screen is just humongous. You know, for... That's the actual size of the screen. It's not magnified. It's really that big. So, let's move on to the illuminator. So quickly, I'll tell you about the modes. You've got three modes. You can take photos. You can record a video, of course. I didn't take any photos with it. It does very nice video, by the way. Uh, but you can. You can record the video. It does not record sound on the video. So that's something to think about if you want to um, narrate over it. You know, if you're using this for, say, spotting animals at night or whatever. Uh, and that's what I did with mine. I just narrated over the, the night vision sequence that you'll see in a minute here. It's got really nice clarity in the daytime, as you'll see and in low light or nighttime. So this doesn't need to be restricted only to nighttime use, which is kind of convenient, because if you're using Gen 3 or Gen 2 Plus night vision, you really don't want to use that during the daytime, because you can burn out the tubes. You can mess the tubes up over time, especially Gen 1 night vision, which is, of course, the cheapest night vision you can get right now, um, you know, as far as real night vision with an amplifier tube. Um, you will ruin the tubes if you use them in the daylight long enough. So you got 1080p full HD images. I believe it's 1080p at 30 FPS. It's not 60 FPS, although I did save it at 60 FPS. So you'll see it, you know, bumped up a little bit. You can play them back on the 3.6 LCD screen with a nice 4-inch viewing area there. So it's not a little tiny 2.4-inch 2.4 inch screen with a big magnifier in the front. That's actually a large screen. I don't know if you can see it in there. I don't know if you can tell, but that is actually a screen that's almost as big as the aperture here for you to see through. Um, up close, it works very well. I would suggest if you wear glasses, like I kind of wear magnifiers for distance, um, I would take them off because you're right up on it and you can see it clear as day. You really don't need glasses if you're holding this right over your face. It will range up to 1,640 feet or 500 meters with an external power supply. There are five levels of IR brightness provided with the batteries, if you just use the batteries. If you connect it to an IR power bank, there are seven levels. The higher level IR is adjusted, the higher the IR level is adjusted, the clearer the image is at night. So you'll see it really, really well. It's got 10 hours of working time with the eight double A's. It can be significantly prolonged by connecting it to a high capacity external battery bank, like I showed you here. And that's what that piece is for on the bottom. That will allow you to screw one in on the bottom and carry it with the unit. Now when this is screwed in of course you cannot use this on a tripod but if you're out bird watching or whatever you don't really need to worry about it. Now it does come, this is a neat feature too, it comes with its own 64 gig memory card. Sometimes I've bought units in the past or had units sent to me for review and the memory card was too big and there was no mention of how big it could be and 
So this is kind of convenient that it comes with a card. You don't have to go out and buy one. You don't have to spend another 20 bucks, whatever. It actually comes with the card installed right here on the side. You'll see the memory card slot right there. So that's kind of a handy convenience, really nice. You've got your AV out, your trans flash card on your USB, all right there. And it does seal up very well. Uh, I would not take this out in heavy rain, but it does seem to be fairly well sealed up. So, I mean, I wouldn't drop it in water. This isn't like IPX8 or something. I would just be careful with it in the rain and water. The neat part about this is, is you could transfer files with that plug, too. The plug that I showed you with the old-school, larger micro USB, um, you can transfer files, and that's how I got the files off of this. I just simply cut and paste off the file system on this machine onto my computer, save them in a video. So let's take a look at that video so I won't bore you to death, and then I'll bring you back to wrap it all up. Okay, so the first video here I have is the outside. I just wanted to show you what it looks like outside. Um, excuse the shakiness. I haven't really zoomed in, and when things are zoomed in, they're kind of hard to hold. But you'll get a little idea here of what it looks like. I'm trying to try to zoom in on that truck and that sign. And I don't have it very well focused right now. You can focus the, the focus ring is underneath there, like I showed you. So you can focus that in there a whole lot better. Now I zoom out. Now I put this on a tripod. This is at night. This is the house they're building uh, a little bit down from my house. Um, you'll notice that it brightens up and goes dark. That's the um, light on the side of my house, the motion activated light. But you see how clear that image is. It's just really, really clear. Um, you can see the shingles on the roof. You can see into, into the house. Really, really clear image. I'm really liking the way this looks in the darkness. Now, I have this on about IR2. Um, you can go up to 5 on the... I just turned it off there. You can go up to uh, 5 uh, with the batteries and up to 7 with the external battery pack. This is the uh, tree in my front yard. I just want you to check out the detail on this. I mean, if this was green, I'd say you're looking through Gen 3 night vision. That's really, really clear. Now, again, the light on my side of my house turned on, but this is my palm tree. Even with it washed out, you can still see the detail up in the palm tree there. Okay. I'm going to go down and look at the look at my other trees on my property and my neighbor's vehicle there. That's their trailer and their car. Those are the branches. Just really, really clear. Now, this was taken when I came out. You see a little bird there, a little roadrunner. This was taken when I came out of the radio studio down the street that I have a show on. It's a low-power FM station. And he has this big open yard there. It was just pitch black out there. I'm just going to zoom in a little on that bush and kind of look around. And this is the nighttime version of the daytime video that I did. So you can kind of see there. That pole there is about 150 yards. That pole back there is about 200. And there's the ground across the street from me. And that should do it. That gives you a good idea of what this is capable of. That's that house that we watched them build last year in my channel. And there's a little animal. Now, this can, use, this can zoom in. The uh, IR light can really, really zoom in really bright on something. So I just wanted to show you that. I explained it. All right, so that was pretty impressive, huh? I could not believe when I put that on the tree. Now, again, I shot that video last night. When I put that on the tree, I just stood there and I was just like, are you kidding me? This is so clear. I mean, you could see the veins of the bark and everything on it. So definitely a quality unit. Um, they are really, digital night vision is slowly catching up. It's got a long way to go before it's as clear as like, you know, Gen 3 um, or thermal type stuff, but it's definitely catching up there, and this is definitely affordable. It is a little more expensive than other units that I've showed you in the past, but it does have a coupon code, so if you go to the site, I will put the link down below in my Amazon store. It's got a $20 off coupon code. There will possibly be another coupon code. I can't say for sure yet because I've emailed them to ask for a coupon code for my subscribers. So, if you're interested in saving a little bit more, you might want to come back tomorrow and check this video, and I will put that extra. If there is an extra, I will put it above the link that I put for this. So you'll see down below, you know, get your night vision here. Above that link will be, you know, $10 coupon code in addition to the 20 you're saving on Amazon. So there is a $20 coupon code. It's automatic when you go there. You'll just click it and click Add to Cart, and it's right there. So the price on this, $279.99, so $280. So for around, after shipping and all that, 300 bucks, you're getting a really high-end unit. I think you saw the video. I was really impressed with the video on this at night. Um, I remember my first digital night vision monocular 
And I was like, ugh, this stinks. I mean, it's horrible. And this thing is just so much more superior that it's really unbelievable how far it's coming. This is only a matter of about five years from the first one I bought. The first one I actually purchased a small little monocular years ago, not from this company, from another company. I think it was Night Fox, I want to say. And it was a digital, um, digital monocular with a tiny little screen. And the clarity on it was horrible. I didn't even review it. I think I gave it away to a friend. It, was, it, it wasn't expensive, but I think I gave it away to a friend because I was just like, mm, I can't review this. It's terrible. But this one is awesome. Um, definitely check them out. Digital night vision is catching up, and it's definitely worth looking at. So anyway, folks, I will put a link down below. Like I said, check back tomorrow, I would say, to see if I ever got that code for more discounts than what's already on the site. But there is a $20 discount right on the site as well. Um, don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link down below if you're interested in getting started in freeze-dried food. Um, I know a lot of people think, oh, I have to join if I try Thrive Life. I have to, you know, pay for a membership, and then I have to sell it to my friends. You don't. You can go there. You can buy what you want. You don't have to join anything. You don't have to become a delivery customer or anything like that. You can just buy individual stuff. And now is a good time to get stocked up because they are slowly coming back into stock. And don't forget to check out our Food for Patriots link as well. That's preparewithiridium.com. Preparewithiridium.com. And you will be able to get some really good deals there right now. We're running a special for a four-week kit for $100 off. So you're saving 100 bucks. It's around 160 I want to say, now with the 100 off. Um, and it's a four-week food kit. It comes in prepackaged containers. You just put it away. Make sure you store enough water for it. But you put it away. You forget about it. It's ready to go. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.